All right, hello everyone. So it's time for a new updated um, video on <coughs> ML agents. We are going to install the latest release, which is um, release 19. Um, and you need a couple of things for that. Actually, it has never been a as easy as it is at the moment. So um, you need Anaconda directly to the download. I won't go through it um, completely as I have it already um, installed. Uh, what is recommended is just for me. Um, that is fine, right? You can you don't have to add it to, to the path and you would go and click install. And by default, actually it installs Python 3.9 as you can see here already, right? Cool. Um, the second thing we need is the actual release from ML agents. You would go down here for example, to release, go to download, and it straight away downloads this um, this release for you. Open up Anaconda prompt. That's what I'm looking for. Um, I have a folder structure, which I can bring over here, and I guess unpack. So I can delete this zip. Uh, here is my ML agents folder now. Um, that's perfectly great. Um, and here in my Conda environment, I have to install um, an Anaconda environment, a virtual environment. Conda create minus n. We'll call it ML agents r19 YouTube. And we'll specify Python as well. Python equals to 3.8. Let's do it. Yes, I want to install all of these things. Perfect, now I'll activate that environment. I have to now navigate to this folder, CD, and, oh, sorry. I have to actually go one further, CD. So we are in ML Agents release 19, great. And from here, uh, just in accordance to the installation document, um, I can now install um, using the advanced local installation for development. So I'll just bring this over here and use the first command like this. All right, and then we'll go for the second one. Order is important here. So first ML agents envs and then ML agents. So let's create a Unity project. All right, here we are, Unity Hub, new project. And I'll just call this, I'll bring that actually to my folder here as well. Okay, select folder. I'm just gonna call it, okay. ML Agents YouTube. Okay, that's perfect. Um, for the version of Unity, you just have to make sure that um, you are doing whatever they say in the installation instructions. So. If we scroll up here, I think they say install Unity 2020.3 or later. So with any of these versions, you should be fine. So I have a couple of different installations, but I'm using 2021.39 F1. All right, so here's our project. Um, what we need to do is we need to go here uh, for Windows and our package manager. Should I open up this window here? And then we'll just go for plus add package from disk. Navigate to to our folder. And go for ML agents release 19. And for com.unity.mlagents and install basically this package by opening it. Just have to wait a sec until this is um, successfully installed. All right, let's see what this is here. Uh, let's just wait for this to be compiled. Let's see. Clear that, that looks good. 
So let's bring in a couple of these examples. We'll go for ML agents release again, um, project, and I'll just kind of basically bring in this um, folder, this ML agents folder. Let's probably compile a second. Here we are. And that has to do with the new um, input system. So, which it says here already. So what is the problem? It's the um, the push block example with input. So I don't wanna right, like overdo it and um, install the input system. I just go for the examples um, and the push block example, um, in this case with input, and I'll get rid of that for a moment because I don't wanna be overly elaborate with this video here now. Let's just get this done and running, up and running as with as simple as possible and few steps. All right, let's see, console is clear. That's what I like. All right, so now I guess my hello, my personal hello world is the push block example. If I check this out, this is probably collab and this is a single. Cool, so here's my agent with, or actually a school of agents, if you wish. Um, and now we can actually train those guys. So we have to go to our Anaconda prompt and type in ML agents dash learn. And then we have to specify the configuration. Um, in our, so our example is called push block, right? So we have to find the push block config file in config under so these are the different algorithms we'll be using ppo and here you can find the push block yaml so i guess i'll copy that name and then so ml agents learn config forward slash ppo forward slash push block yaml dash dash run dash id equals to push block test zero one and I can hit enter. So you will be most likely prom be prompted with this if you've run the, running this the first time um, with the security alert, but you can just allow it. Okay. All right, so now it tells us that we can start training by pressing play button in Unity. So we can go back to Unity, press play. Gonna load up for a second. Great, and we are training. Let me check the scene view. Looking good, so all agents are training and trying out to solve um, this little push block example where basically the agent has to push this white block into the green zone. All right, so by now we should see in the ML agents folder that there's a results folder created and here we can see um, our push block test folder where we have um, the different checkpoints and after a specified amount of steps we will also be um, creating a neural network, which we then can use for inference. On the side, we can check here in our Anaconda prompt how our agents are doing. So for example, here we have 60,000 60, steps in 100, something like 106 seconds, and the mean reward is 2.24, and the standard distribution of rewards is like at 2.8 something, right? All right, so I'll chop this off here. So, and it's going to save out a neural network, as you can see right here in my results. Um, and just to see if um, this worked, right? If we've trained something, I guess we can uh, use this really quickly in inference mode. So I'll disable those and we'll just focus on this one area here. Um, opening this up, here's our agent. I'm just gonna bring this over slightly because we don't need all of that space for the folder. And so here we have our agent, right? Um, and there is by default already a neural network in there, but we don't wanna use that. I think that's from Unity. Um, 
obviously we have to change the behavior type to inference and then um, bring in our neural networks or create quickly a new folder on the top neural network bring in my push block dot o n n x click onto my agent and drag and drop that into the model um, input parameter so we are running on inference and now I can just without typing any command or anything I can just press play and look how well the agent already trained All right so obviously it didn't train a lot so it's probably quite bad at this task yet but um, if we run it further, it's probably going to improve, but at least it sort of gets the task done. So that's something cool. I hope you got this to work as well. Um, see you next time.